Hey there Lickin' Riffers, how are you doing? Welcome to another awesome guitar lesson right here on Lickin' Riff. And in this video I'm gonna help you break some musical habits by taking some of the songs we all know and love, we might have been playing them for years by now, and we're gonna turn them on their heads. We're gonna change the time signature on them. We're gonna change uh, three four time songs to four four time and vice versa from four four to three four time. And it's gonna feel really weird. It's gonna feel like we're messing up something that we shouldn't touch, but it opens up the, the ear and it breaks habits and it's always good to break musical habits so uh, you can find some new expressions. And you'll see the songs will sound as if they're skewed a little bit, but that's the purpose of this exercise. So uh, I'm gonna do it right along with you. I haven't really prepared a list of songs. I'm just gonna throw a song off the top of my mind and we're gonna do it together. So let's try Californication. four time okay let's turn this into three four times so one two three one two three one two three one two three sounds weird right and if you want to add that pull off there right it feels strange to play and let's take um, let's take a Metallica song uh, master of puppets okay, let's take this riff and one two three one two three hey okay, this is not interesting so let's turn it into jazz okay uh, kind of a shuffle rhythm The, the, um, um, the palm mute sounds really nice here instead of otherwise um, you can do what I just did and bend it okay, to make it sound even more bluesy okay, see shuffle and shuffle is basically one, two, three, one, two, three in a four, four frame of work. So it's a little bit of cheating. So let's try to turn it into a fully fledged three, four time. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Let's see if we can make it sound good. Okay. To start. change the um, you can change the the riff to fit the rhythm that's the whole point of the exercise and let's take another heavy metal uh, classic holy wars by megadeth um, hey okay, i'm playing it slowly because hey okay, without a pick it sounds okay, it sounds lame so now i know that the original is Okay, uh, hammer on from nowhere. Okay, uh, okay, but we're playing an acoustic here, so I'll play a variation. So one, two, three, one, two, three. requires you to be a little bit creative and manipulate the riff itself. Okay? And you come up with a whole new idea that you might manipulate even farther to create your own riff. Now let's go back to full chords. Let's try green sleeves. Okay, 
this is three four time. Da 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 da. One two three. One two three. One two three. So let's try to turn it into four four time. One two three four. One two three four. One two three four. Okay, a little bit confusing, and doesn't really sound all that. Well, um, you can do. Hey, if you can, uh, if you can Travis pick, it sounds a little bit better because of the alternating bass line, but um, you see, it's interesting. It uh, kind of throws you off your game there for a second. Um, let's try... Um, I've got it. Let's take one of the untouchable riffs. The... Hey, okay, let's take uh, Sweet Child of Mine. Let's take the simple version. Okay. And that's in 4-4 four, four time. If we try to turn it into 3-4 time, it might sound like 1-2-3, uh, 1-2-3. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. 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 okay, sounds like a completely different riff. Doesn't even sound like the song. But that's the magic of this exercise. So let's take something a little bit more difficult. Okay, one of the classics uh, that has its own picking pattern. And try to find... Uh, this is Dust in the Wind, if you don't know it. Um, and let's try to find a 3-4 or 6-8 version to this. <laughs> Wish me luck. This is way too simple, so let's try to maintain some kind of a pattern uh, to try to maintain the original feel, if possible. Okay, doesn't always produce good results, but it's always good to try and break those habits. And let's take one last example. Okay, now um, I'll share something uh, silly with you. I like to do it in uh, Latin feel. Yeah, okay, Latin style feel, the, the salsa music sort of feel. But it's still 4-4 four, four time. See, it's still 4-4. Four, four. Instead of uh, just playing the beat, we're playing the salsa feel. Okay, but it's exactly the same uh, idea. So let's try 3-4 three, three, uh, three, time or 6-8 time. 1-2-3, 1-2-3. Now this is way too predictable. Let's try to see if we can complicate it. sort of a classical feel uh, here. Um, or if we're talking classical, okay, let's take this and try to, uh, to turn it into 3-4 time and be finished with this lesson. I'll let you go take uh, any song you want. So let's try to see what we can come up with here. Hmm.
See? Completely different expression, but it's the same, the same piece of music, the same composition. So you go try this with whatever you like. Just, uh, just sing to yourself, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then try to fit it in and cram it in there. Or the other way around, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and try to expand it. So um, try different expressions, try to play it faster, slower, try to change the, the note length um, of the, the, the composition itself and see what you can come up with. So I'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy.